Mr. Philip Carlier. I don't know where to start with this one. I remember when his poster first went up. Mild-mannered, they said. Well, they all are, until they ain't. I might have even looked for him, too, but none of us could find him. It sounds like they spotted him in the swamps. If that's where he's been, on the run all this time, then God help him. Ain't much in the way of company out there, or much that won't try and eat you or put you on a pike. Got to ask what years of that might have done to his mind. You're here. <laughs> you're here. Oh, thank heavens you're here. See, I've been here for, must be years, trapped. See, I, I thought no one would ever come. Philip Carlier, the Castile Cotton Company chief clerk. But, uh, I'm sure you already know that, given why you're here. My, my, I can't, can't imagine how it must look. <laughs> oh, no, no time for any of that. Now, if you'll just let me... Oh. So hoping for someone to share this with. Comes on rather strong the first time, does it not? <laughs>
<laughs> They're quite strong indeed. <laughs> now, you may not believe me, but uh, you made a mistake. <laughs> you got the wrong man, you see. Mr. Philip Collier of the Castile Cotton Company, he, he gone. He died a long time ago, I'm afraid. <laughs> I know it's very disappointing for a bounty hunter, but uh, yeah, there it is. I promise you, I saw him dead. His body committed to the swamp. I, I saw the skin rotting off his bones and creatures feeding upon his flesh. And the man is as dead as you and me is breathing now. I, I, I he's dead. Y you must believe me. Uh, how do you think anyone can survive out here, huh? For all this time? I mean, really. It's a ridiculous proposition if you think of it. <laughs> you know, for a man as, as polite and uh, unsuited in the environment as, as Paul Mr. <laughs> well, I'm always pleased to see them breathing. Well, that's what they're worth, and not a penny more. <laughs>